Hello students, welcome to Grade 10 Science Lessons. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You have learned from our previous lesson that lithospheric plates are slowly moving at different directions. This movement of plates can be classified into three types of plate boundaries, namely convergent plate boundary, divergent plate boundary, and transform fault plate boundary. Along the plate margins, earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain ranges are being formed. But what other geologic activities may be formed in the different types of plate boundaries? What will happen if two different lithospheric plates collide? Why do we need to study these different geologic processes? Let's find out in today's lesson. Processes that occur along the plate boundaries, part 1. Remember that there are two types of crust continental crust, and oceanic crust. Though the oceanic crust is thinner than the continental crust, oceanic crust is denser than the continental crust. This idea about crust is very important to help you understand the geologic processes occurring along the different types of plate boundaries. Let's start with convergent plate boundary. The geologic processes that will be formed along this type of plate boundary depends on the material of plates that are colliding. We have the convergence of oceanic to continental plates, convergence of oceanic to oceanic plates, and lastly, convergence of continental to continental plates. Let's take a look on each type of convergent plate boundary. Oceanic Continental Convergent Plate Boundaries This figure shows the convergence between oceanic crustal plate and continental crustal plate. As two different plates collide, the leading edge of the oceanic plate bends towards the mantle since it is denser than the continental plate. The bending of the denser plate towards the mantle is called subduction process. Since the mantle is hotter than the crust, the tendency of the subducted leading edge of the oceanic crust will be melted, forming magma. Addition of volatile materials such as water will cause the magma to become less dense. This allows the magma to rise and reach the edge of the continental crust plate, forming volcanic arc. Aside from volcanic arc, what other geologic events could be formed in convergence of oceanic continental crustal plates? The continuous grinding of plates against each other will cause the occurrence of earthquakes. One important geologic feature formed at the oceanic crust is a trench, or also known as submarine valleys. Ocean trenches are the deepest part of the ocean. Did you know? One of the deepest trench of the world is the Philippine Trench, with a depth of 10,540 meters. Oceanic-Oceanic Convergent Plate Boundaries A second type of convergent plate boundary involves the sinking of oceanic lithosphere beneath another plate of oceanic lithosphere. Converging oceanic plates will cause formation of trenches and these trenches will become sources of earthquakes. Underwater earthquakes, especially the stronger ones, can generate tsunamis or harbor waves. The leading edge of the subducted plate will eventually reach the mantle causing it to melt and turn it into magma. The molten material will rise to the surface creating a volcanic island arc parallel to the trench. Did you know? The western half of the Pacific Ring of Fire is full of these volcanic island arcs including Japan, Indonesia, and Philippines. 
many parts of the Philippines originated from oceanic-oceanic convergence. This resulted from the collision of two oceanic plates with one of the plates diving under the other. Majority of the islands in the Philippine archipelago are considered as part of the Philippine Mobile Belt. These islands were formed 65 million years ago at the southern edge of the Philippine Sea Plate and are considered as part of island arcs. Other parts of the Philippines such as Palawan, Mindoro, and the Zamboanga Peninsula are all highland sections of the Sandalan block of the Eurasian Plate. The Philippine Mobile Belt eventually collided with the Sandalan block which explains the presence of trenches such as Manila Necros Cotabato Trench System and the Sulu Trench. On the eastern side of the Philippines, trenches like the Philippine Trench and East Luzon Trough are both products of subducting Philippine sea plate beneath the archipelago. Aside from the formation of trenches and troughs, chains of active volcanoes that stretches from Taiwan to Mindoro were created. Some of the known volcanoes in this chain are Mount Pinatubo and Taal. Also, the constant dipping movement of slabs induces frequent moderate to strong earthquakes at various depths, gives rise to mountain ranges and develops the geologic character of the Philippine archipelago. Continental-Continental Convergent Plate Boundaries when two continental plates converge, a collision zone is formed. Unlike the other two types of convergent plate boundaries, subduction ceases for this type of convergence. What does it mean when we say subduction ceases? It means that no trench, no volcano, and no island arc are created in this type of convergent plate boundary. Instead, it leads to the formation of large group of tall mountains called mountain range. Did you know? About 40 to 50 million years ago, two large land masses, India and Eurasia, collided to begin the formation of the most visible product of plate tectonics, the Himalayas. Also, collision of continental plates is associated with shallow earthquake activities. The second part of our lesson on processes that occur along the plate boundaries will be continued in the next video. To summarize what you have learned, there are three main types of convergent plate boundary, and these are convergence of oceanic and continental crustal plates, convergence of two oceanic crustal plates, and convergence of two continental crustal plates. The convergence of oceanic and continental crustal plates can lead to the occurrence of subduction zone that gives rise to the formation of volcanic arc, earthquakes, and trenches. The convergence of two oceanic crustal plates can lead also to the occurrence of subduction zone that gives rise to the formation of volcanic island arc, earthquakes, and trenches. If one of the leading edge of an oceanic plate suddenly flicks upward, it can generate harbor waves or also known as tsunami. The convergence of two continental crustal plates differ from the other two types of convergent plate boundary because it ceases subduction zone, which means only mountain ranges and shallow earthquakes are created. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from our lesson. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in our next lesson.